Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Mega Road Pack 2 was released October 14th, 2023, and includes support for 7's anime characters. Lightning Volt Condor gets some new boss monsters in the form of Lightning Volt Eagle, Lightning Volt Kite, and Thunderbolt, the Echoing Thunder. The Dark Warriors receive some new fusion monsters, Kimiterasu, the Divining Ruler, and Hagoromo, the Cloudal Handling Celestial Seamstress, as well as a new main deck monster, Yami Luna, the Dark Supporter. Beast Gears make a comeback with two new boss monsters, True Beast Gear Emperor Kong, and True Beast Gear Emperor Lyogon. Dark Spellcasters also receive a few new cards, including Sword Dawn Magician and Obsidian Magical Soldier. Alex will gain access to a new Dragon Boss in Dragonic Demolisher, a retrain of the original Dragonic Slayer. He will also get V Friend, a new boss monster for Psychics. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is the kind of Gakuto Warrior deck. So this deck is pretty cool. It's all pretty much based around facilitating our new fusion monster, Kimiterasu the Divine Ruler. So you make this using Kimi Ruler the Dark Raider and Needle Kuri the Celestial Seamstress. 3000 attack, 3000 defense is pretty damn good. We can send the top card of the deck to the graveyard. Up to two face up monsters on your field can attack directly this turn or this card gains 1,000 attack until the end of your opponent's next turn, which means all the way through their turn, this guy will have 4,000 attack, which is quite difficult to hit over. So it's a pretty cool boss monster. It's potentially good for setting up something like OTKs, which we could try and facilitate using cards like Ruler's Current or using cards like Sky Savior Symbol to try and boost monsters' attacks so they're big enough to try and get at our opponent for 8,000. But for today, we're going to try building something a little bit more fun, a little bit more true to Gakuto. So this isn't meant to be a hyper competitive version of this deck, but it is meant to show off some of the new cards that we've got and just try and get this guy out as much as possible. So the other new fusion boss monster we got is Hagoromo the Cloudal Handling Celestial Seamstress. So this is made using Valkyrian Cut Pastry and Needle Kree the Celestial Seamstress. We can pay 300 life points to add level 4 or lower warrior or fairy type monster from your graveyard to your hand. Then you can set a fusion or divine transformation from your graveyard to your spell and trap card zone. So this card's pretty cool. We can go into this, then bring back half of a fusion and a fusion spell and try and just make another fusion, which is fine. There's nothing particularly exciting about this because we cannot access our level 8 half of the fusions, which makes this a little bit weaker than maybe it could be. This basically is just, I want to get out an extra body on top of my other fusion monster, that being our Kimi Tarasu or our Yami Tarasu, rather than actually facilitating getting the fusion summon off in the first place. And our fusion spell of choice is going to be Divine Transformation. So we can fusion summon a light attribute monster by sending monsters from our field to the graveyard as material, including a fairy type monster. If we summon a celestial warrior type monster by this effect, we can use monsters from our hand. So this is basically polymerization, as long as we're using a fairy and we're making a light celestial warrior, which is pretty good. We can also again bring this back using our Hagoromo, which is decent enough. So for our other new cards, we are on Yami Luna the Dark Supporter. So this is one of those cards that can special summon itself, which is pretty good. So we can special summon it if we have Yami Ruler the Dark Delayer face up on our field. We can change the battle position of one face monster on our field, which will again usually be our Yami Ruler. And then we can choose a Yami Ruler on our field, gains 500 attack, and if it attacks a defense position monster, inflicts piercing damage as long as it remains on our field and face up. So that's really, really good. That's a permanent buff. Making it a 3,000 attack monster with piercing is going to make our Yami Ruler pretty beefy. It's nothing crazy, but it is an extra way for us to get to our opponent's life points, which again, if we're being able to attack directly using our Kimi Terasu, and we can also just kind of sometimes attack directly with Kimi Ruler, it kind of can add up and be able to just get damage in where we want and be able to win the game that way. Another new card we have is Seiyanin, the Combustion Commander. So we have to have no other monsters on our field, but just for free, we can put a level 8 Fire or Dark Attribute Warrior type monster from our graveyard into our hand, but then our monsters of 1900 or less defense cannot attack. So again, this is just really good to get access to our guys, which then we can send to the graveyard with our trade-in, or we can fuse them off with our Divine Transformation, or we can just tribute some of them out. 
or we can send to the graveyard for Dark Ruler's Battle Gear, which is send a level 8 Dark Attribute Warrior type monster from my hand to the graveyard, draw 3 cards, then shuffle 1 card from your hand into the deck. This is basically just a better version of trade-in, as long as we specifically have a lot of Dark Warriors, and it's really good. Being able to draw 3 and then get rid of 1 card, this still breaks even, right? Because you lose 1 card, you're using Dark Ruler Battle Gear itself, then you're drawing 3, so you've now plus 1 but then you're shuffling one card back, so you go back to neutral again. So it's not plussing you, but it does give you access to a wider pool of cards and then lets you choose which card you don't want. So another new card in the deck is Koi of Winter Wonder. This is a bit of a weird card, but we thought we'd include it. Send all monsters from your field to the graveyard, draw one card. You can only normal summon or special summon Celestial Warrior, Warrior, and Fairies for the rest of the turn. Now this is a little bit awkward just because it, it locks you out of summoning fish as well, which means you can't even summon Koi, use its effect, draw a card, and then summon another Koi. You'd have to set the other Koi, which is kind of weak, but we thought we'd try it out. And then our other new monster is Draco the Hand Zone. We've seen Alex use this already, but if we have 10 or more cards in our deck during the turn, we normal summon this card. Special summon a level 1 monster with 1400 defense from your graveyard to your field face-up defense position. Then if you special summon a normal monster, you can draw one card. So again, summon this, get another body on the board, and draw a card. This plus twos, which is really really powerful we can then use that to tribute summon or if we do bring back our valkyrian sokuri which again zero defense level one normal monster 1400 defense really really perfect to work with this card we can use it for a fusion summon so again it just works so well in this deck and then the final new card in the deck is resolve we can pay 1500 life points then the top three cards of the deck to the graveyard then you can special summon one effect monster with 2500 attack from among the cards sent to the graveyard face up to your field so the 1500 life points does kind of suck, but if we are able to get any of our 2500 guys out, which are running nine, so we should be seeing them quite a lot, we can just get a 2500 for free, which is pretty good. So yeah, this is the deck. Again, this isn't the most competitive version of this deck. We know in the past that Alex has absolutely detested playing against this deck. We know that if we ever summon Yami Tarasso against him, he's going to be having a really bad time. So we tried to build this in a bit more of a fun and more true to Gakuto style deck, rather than trying to get, make it like hyper competitive. But let's fire on in and see what Alex has got for us. What do I want to play? Oh, this guy got multiple decks to play. Yeah, I know. Well, do you remember what I said last week? You'd be on Warriors. I'd be on Warriors. So did you pick something that has a decent matchup into Warriors? Fingers crossed. I'm not sure. <laughs> mm, okay. I've made decks uh, based around cards I haven't played yet. Mm. I know there's a couple that you still have left over. So, like Insects, I think is one that I'm, I've still been looking forward to seeing if that is actually any good with the double attacking. But, yeah, we'll um, go with this one. Okay. So, um, yeah, I guess last week we did the Beast Gear Psychic matchup. That was a pretty interesting one. Those decks kind of felt similar power level in the sense that neither of them felt like they were going to be like top tier meta contenders going forward, but they felt like they had enough tools to like kind of hold their own and do do what they wanted to do to some extent. Yeah. Which was which was nice. Now, we don't always get that, right? Like before we did the, you used your powered up blue eyes deck against my dark machine maximum deck, and that felt not very balanced. And then the week after we did cyber dragons into dragon fusion. And again, that also felt a little bit imbalanced, but it was nice that we got to see Beast Gear Psychic, which did actually feel a little bit like they were on the same kind of weight class. But like we said before, going into this week, I'm going to be on the Warriors, which yeah, I get, Warriors is such like a, a a vague term, right? I'm going to be on the Gakuto stuff. I'm going to be on the yeah. the 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 Dark Rulers and the the, the Fusion stuff, the Celestial Warrior stuff. Um, and as for you, we don't know what you're on whatsoever. So I guess should we just fire on in and just see what you've got? Yeah, let's go for it. All right, let's go, 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 go. Ooh. 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 Hey, oh, four damn. scissors <laughs> is the way, baby. All right, let's go. This is the other issue, is I haven't, like, played this before, or at least none of these new cards, so there's going to be a lot of reading. There's going to be a lot of mistakes. All right, are you ready for the greatest move of all time? Mm -hmm. I summon Koi of Winter Wonder, my fish monster. I can send all monsters from my field to the graveyard and draw one card. But I can only normal or special summon <laughs> Celestial Warriors, Warriors, or Fairies for the rest of the turn. I'm Behold. sure that won't be a problem. You say that. Looking at my hand, that is actually kind of a problem. 
Although it's only normal summons, so I can still set stuff. So maybe it's not as bad as it feels. Set. Set. Then I'm going to tribute two and summon out Yami Ruler the Dark Delayer. He's back, baby. Yeah, here he is. We'll activate his effect. Just give you the little Yami lock. And then we're going to set two more cards and pass the turn. Okay. You cannot tribute summon seven or higher monsters. You can. Should you tribute seven? Sucks. I should be calm. Yes, I think I can. Okay. It specifically says tribute summon. I don't have tribute set counts as a tribute summon. It's a weird one. Okay, so we are on the bugs. We are on the buggy boys. Got the silkworm. Now I have a bug. Yeah, you've not brought in warriors this week. You've brought insects for me to play. Okay, uh, uh, well you can't take control of it. No, yeah, you can because you can get rid of a guy. Okay, but what are you going to do with that? Oh, I can't tribute set. Interesting. Uh, well... <laughs> Haha, ha, that's Ooh. right, it was Draco the Hand Sewn all along. Right, what do I actually do here? How do I beat 2500 attack? <laughs> Legit might cause problems. Uh, none of this is going to be helpful, right? Yeah, this is all requires. Uh, okay. That is also annoying, because I cannot do that. Right, we'll summon out Battle or Nandez the Fire Awakener. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Mm. Forgot I now am not allowed to tribute monsters. Are you not? No, because you activated Yami Ruler's effect, I guess. No, I didn't. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to tribute, so. Oh, wait. Turn you normal summon this card. So I couldn't have activated him. But I guess when I took control of him, until your end, your opponent, the end of your opponent's next turn, swapped to you. <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's that might be one of the only cards in the game that takes control of your opponent's stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't like something that's ever come up before. Uh, well, let's this can draw. Okay. Uh. Okay. Wasn't expecting the forest, but... I wonder if that meant yeah. if you had tried to tribute summon after you took Yami Ruler, if that would have worked. Because all it says is while this card is face up. Oh, oh, it says neither player can tribute summon. So you wouldn't have been able to tribute summon. Oh, right. But then, yeah, I should have been able to do it during my turn. But because of the swap, I guess it didn't. It changed to the end of my turn? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it swapped it to the end of your turn, because you're the opponent now. Okay, we've got Digra. Digra! It's just a big ball of attack. Okay, we only take 22. That's not too bad. The bigger issue I'm having is that my hand, uh, as you can probably guess, has got a lot of high levels in it. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if we can change that a little bit. Let's trade in. Oh, okay. Um, then I will activate my new card, Dark Ruler's Battle Gear. So I can send a level 8 Dark Attribute Warrior Tech Monster from my hand to the graveyard, draw three cards, then shuffle one card from my hand into the deck. Good lord. Uh, the question now becomes, what do I actually want to get rid of? I think we get rid of this then, right? All right, I will normal summon Sayanin, the Combustion Commander. So if I have no other monsters on my field, I can add a level 8 fire or dark attribute warrior monster from my graveyard to my hand. This turn, monsters of 1900 or less defense cannot attack. So interestingly, you could use this in like baseball, I guess, if they have level 8s. But yeah, we add back our Kimi Ruler. Mm hmm. Then we're going to activate our spell card, Divine Transformation. So we Confusion summon a light attribute monster by sending monsters from your field to the graveyard as material, including a fairy type monster. If you summon a celestial warrior with this effect, you can also use monsters from my hand. So I'll be using two cards from my hand. And summoning out my new fusion monster, Kimi Terasu, the Divine Ruler. So we can send the top card of the deck to the graveyard, and then either up to two face-up monsters on my field can attack directly, 
or he gains a thousand attack until the end of your turn. So the next question becomes, what do I actually want to do here? Because attacking directly is neat. I could take off like, you know, half your life points, but I don't kill any of your board if I do that. Mm -hmm. mm, the other issue is that you've been a little bit trigger happy with magic cylinder. So going at the 4,000 attack could just lose me the game. All right, let's... <sighs> No matter how I do this, I can't play around everything. This is my issue. I want to play around Mirror Force as well, in case you've got that. But I can't play around Mirror Force and play around... Alright, I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring back Kimi Ruler. We're going to set, set. We're then going to activate... To make up to two of my monsters attack directly. We'll go to battle. I will attempt to attack directly. Then we will attempt to attack directly. And then I'm going to end. It's a biomag menace. So shuffle an insect monster from your graveyard into the deck. Lose 300 attack. Then you can make it an insect. Okay. Lampras. Lose this. Okay. Don't want it to be an insect. Because I can't steal it. And it would just gain 200 attack from forest. Yeah. <laughs> Activate Gears X Gears. Okay, so this is a card I was expecting to see a while ago from you. Said one monster from your hand to the graveyard, one face-up monster on your opponent's field loses 1500 attack to the end of this turn. Then choose one face-up monster on your field with the same level and type as that monster. If you do, that monster can attack twice. So you could do it to your Yami Ruler, and Yami Ruler could attack twice. Weaken this. Weaken this. Oh no, he's a nine. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, well, it would have to be the same type, so because you chose a Celestial Warrior. Oh, yeah, and that. Yeah, if you'd done it to Kimi Ruler, oh. you could have attacked twice, but then you wouldn't have been able to reduce him. You'd have to get lucky with Digra's effect. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. That's right, you're about to run into, like... You're going to run into, like, Mirror Force, uh, Stray Force... Dark Revelation, all at once. <laughs> he thought I was joking. Mirror Force Go! Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was so worried about yours, because I was like, I have mine, so <laughs> he might have his. Uh, is there anything I can play around you having? I don't... I have no way to pop back row. <laughs> so I'm like, do I, do I just swing? Uh, what are the chances you can stop two attacks? Right, we'll change this to defense. Um, I don't think there is literally any point in playing any card from my hand, so we'll go straight to battle. And we'll just try. This plays around Mirror Force. Uh-oh. Uh, loses 800 attack. Okay, so that's fine. Now, do you have... Okay. No, I have not. Oh, I was like, if you had that plus a magic cylinder, you exactly played around what I had. Well, I said I incorrectly yeah. played around what you had. Oh, yeah. Um, um, we didn't get to see what your deck really does there, other than you you stole my guy and you summoned one boss monster. Let's uh, let's fingers crossed you can get out your other big boss and make it double attack. I mean, I did make a double attack. You just oh. forced it. Yeah, but you have insect specific ways to get double attack, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. The new uh, butterfly. Hmm. And you made your double attack my monster, not your monster. <laughs>
The problem with that is, Legend Magician is a spellcaster. Yeah. Oh, and then, you, yeah, you couldn't special summon it. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't even do two coys in one turn. So if you just open double koi, you just have to set oh, right, because it's a fish. Yeah. It's, it's very strange. It's like, th there'll be some very rare situations where you want to wipe your own board to, like, make room and stuff. But other than that... Hmm. That's... Flip summon. Biomech Mantis. Okay. And... I do think that's a really cool art. It's, like, very simple, but... Really cool. Yeah. It almost looks like the insect armor from TCG. Yes. I like can the see classic. that. Whip spell. Should oh, always give to like. Yeah. Although that had a big cannon on the back. Yeah. Ooh, intrude beetle. So I'm losing my only back row. Feels bad, man. Check that out. Yes. Oh, you destroyed my sword skill ruler's slash. Okay. Then destroy one spell trap. There he is, Dinus Dorcas. Fortunately, he's a uh, vanilla while I have his face downs. Yeah. You have killed Se Seyanin. That's the one. Ah, oh, this hand is really boring. <laughs> Alright, we will activate Resolve. So I pay 1500 life points. Then I can send the top three cards in my deck to the graveyard. Then I can special summon an effect monster to a 2500 attack from among the cards sent to the graveyard face up to my field. Which means I can bring back Kime Ruler. Okay. Now, that's neat and all, but like, <laughs> I can maybe crash. <laughs> so let's go for Dark Ruler Battle Gear. So discard, draw three. Then we need to shuffle one of these back in. So we will say goodbye to this. Then, I guess we will simply Divine Transformation again. Mm -hmm. To the same guy as last time. Behold his power. Mm -hmm. Now, you can only kill five to eights. So I've got a nine out, which is kind of pretty good here. Yeah, it's the problem I was finding when planning to play against this deck. Not mm. a lot I've got that I can deal with. <laughs> Nines. Just play lots of legends, right? Easy. I haven't used yet. Yeah. See, this is where things get scary because I am going to gain a thousand attack. Okay. Um, and we're gonna try and clear this. Okay, thank God. Oh, I just <laughs> magic cylinder on the brain. I don't remember if your cards that steal my shit also have level requirements on them or not. I'm just gonna hope. Okay, thank God for that. Because if you could just take this, I'd be like, oh no. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That's Monster Reborn. Okay. Your Kimmy Ruler. Oh. Okay. Biomic Mantis. Uh. In. Well, I will be an insect. And you will weaken me by 300. And we'll guess. Okay, so you won't get the double attack, but you can weaken me. Down 22. I got battle. Okay. Goodbye, Kimi Terasu. Hello, Ooh. Draco the Handsome. And. Goodbye, Nandez. Hey. Nandez, not necessarily actually good in this deck, but I was like, we're playing Nandez. We're not not playing Nandez. <laughs> uh, good uh, Rush Lynx card. Exactly. Unfortunately, Draco the Tiny, or Draco the Hand Sloan even, doesn't do anything after he's already been on the field. It's only the turn he's summoned. I guess we're going to do this. I'm going to summon out a second Draco. We're going to activate its effect. And we're going to bring back my Sukuri. Oh. Yeah, see? We have a 0 1400 of our own. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many decks that have, like, 0 14s that they want to bring back. But this just so happens to be one of them, right? So I'm going to activate 
Dark Ruler Battle Gear and just discard my high level. I want my high level back. So I'll put you back. Uh, I'll set a back row. And I will pass. On the plus side. Unless there's lots of multi-attack shenanigans, I'm pretty sure you can't kill me this turn. True. Let's Mate, intrude. I need you I need you to not intrude. Okay. I just I just need you Ooh. to flip that card back down. Uh, yes. Oh, thank God for that. No! <laughs> my win condition! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, you know what my face down monster is, so you have perfect knowledge at the moment. Mm-hmm. Nice okay. Dorcas. Aprilion. Oh, don't do that one. Draw a card. Should have done it on the defense mode one. Hmm? Should have changed my defense mode to an insect, because then you could kill it with Dinostorcus. You can only kill five to eights. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Would it break the game if you could kill lower than fives? But it's fine, because I've insect rampage. Okay. Uh, if your opponent uh, has a face-up insect that's on the field, destroy one face-up level 8 or lower monster on your opponent's field. So you don't even have to kill the face-up, uh, the attack mode one, you can just kill the defense mode one. Yes. This battle... My biggest issue right now is I have four cards in hand, and none of them were playable last turn. So I'm kind of just really hoping for something good off the top. We normal summon Seanin. We activate the effect. Uh, I guess Kimmy Ruler does nothing on its own, but if I draw a fusion spell, it then is the correct card to take. We have already seen one fusion spell. If I take Yami Luna, that is better if we see a Yami Tarasu, or Yami Ruler even. Statistically, <laughs> we have more <laughs> Yamis back in the deck than we do the fusion spell, so we are slightly more likely to see that. So I am going to take Yami Luna. Okay. And then, behold, the power of Koi of the Winter Wonder! Okay. We will then... Set. Set. Tribute 2 to summon out Yami Ruler. We then special summon our Yami Luna. We've been sending to the graveyard. This is the first time we've actually summoned this card. Which is if we yep. have Yami Ruler, the Dark Delay, a face up on our field, we can special summon this card from our hand. Change the battle position of one face up monster on your field. Choose one Yami Ruler on your field. While that monster is face up, it gains 500 attack. And if it attacks a defense position monster, it inflicts piercing damage. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we can activate Yami Ruler. Mm hmm. Then, we will go ahead and activate our secret sword skill, Ruler Slash. So we'll put this back in. We will boost this. And we will pop this. Damn. Alright. Let's accept our fate. So we're going to... Probably die to a trap card. So we'll attack this and... Receive our damage. Yeah, sorry buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was going to happen, right? We had no way to play around it, unfortunately. We just had to pop one randomly. I didn't think the fresh set card was going to be the Magic Cylinder. That was the only one I wasn't going for. So I was like, hey, he'd have to have drawn that. He... Like, there wasn't really a good time to Cylinder before this. So I was like, you know. But that doesn't mean we get a game three. So let's see what happens there. All right, let's go first. Do we do that, that? <laughs> that feels so bad, but it's also... Yeah, we're going to do it. I summon Valkyrian Sokuri, and then I summon Koi of the Winter Wonder. <laughs> we'll send to draw. Oh, I can't. I'm an idiot. Draco the Hanson. Draco the Hanson cannot be summoned because it's not a... The correct type. It's a dragon. <laughs> That's fine. Fish. We'll pass on that. I wanted it. I wanted to draw so bad. 
Wow. Oh, here They've had big butts, so... And they cannot lie. Yes. Alright, we'll just summon out Nandez and swing. And then we'll pass. Okay. Well, here's a drum off. Okay. Activate the drum off. Pitching the drum off. The billion. Oh no. Nandez right. is a bug. <laughs> Bit intrude. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, things looking pretty Dipra. rough over here. Yeah, get out the new butterfly. Here we go, finally we see this. So, one this turn, one face at level 8 or low insect monster only field can gain 200 attack and make two attacks on monsters. So a really good way to get to your opponent's life points. Obviously not specifically in this regard, but... Take a little hit. There he is, it's Draco. Oop. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Just not. Just not. No point in taking that some damage. Alright, let's summon out Draco. Activate the effect. Bring back our Sukuri for a card. So we'll then tribute two and summon out Kimi Ruler. We'll then activate our Divine Transformation. Combine mm -hmm. our monsters together. This is where things get a little bit complicated. We will summon out another Draco. Activate its effect. Bring back Valkyrie again. Okay. We will then... Tribute 2. Summon out Yami Ruler. Then I think we're going to set this. Then we will activate Kimita Rasu. Make it so up to two monsters can attack directly this turn. Okay. We'll go to battle. We will attack into your Digra. Alright. Then this is fine. We will attack into your magic cylinder. Ooh, not using it here, okay. We'll pass it. So we've got Insect Mantilus, we've got the Geus to reduce the attack. Okay, so a lot of back row, but not a lot of monsters. We have lost our big guy. It all gets a little bit hairy, though, but I think we're going to do this. Well, let's take Resolve. Pay the 15. Yep. We will then bring back, I guess, our Yami Luna. Activate the effect. Change this back to attack. Set a back row. Go to battle. Swing? So yeah, you will be able to trade with this. Let me shuffle. Yeah, it's billions, I think. And Let's scat. Get these. Okay. So your last is Magic Cylinder then. Send or fall. I'm going to pass on that. Okay. Leon? And that's game. Yeah. GG, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you take my guy and kill me with it. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not a lot um, I can really do with this. I, I don't know if I could have gamed you that turn. I mean, you needed 1500 attack and I'm dead, so nothing I could do about it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, I mean, so my guy has piercing, and the guy I've got in defense is zero defense. Oh, he does have piercing. But yeah, there's it's uh, it's an interesting dynamic, right? Because the deck that I'm playing, I had so many potential options, but so many of my cards have the line, if you have no other monsters on your field, which I guess is where Koi comes into effect. 
because it can actually empty the board so you can actually use these effects. Like, I had my fusion spell face down, Divine Transformation. Yeah. But, and I had Cut Pastry, who says, bring back a fairy with zero defense from your graveyard. But it also says, if you have no other monsters on your field. Then I had two copies of Sayanin in hand, who says, if you have no other monsters on your field. <laughs> and I'm just yeah. there like, because your deck isn't strong enough to keep wiping my board i'm getting punished for that by not being able to like do things like i i was able to like make some sort of play right like summon out a couple of 2500s but i couldn't do like the big combo plays that the deck wanted to do um the other big thing i guess is that again your deck was really struggling to out the level nines but just having access to your gear sex gears is a really cool card to actually deal with that right it's it's a weird one because you do have to minus two yourself to actually do it. Whereas something like yeah. Talismanic Seal Array is just... I think a lot of the time Talismanic Seal Array is just better gear sex gears. But in a deck where you can make your opponent's monsters insects, gear sex gears does have like that extra level of like, oh, I could also like high roll and completely destroy my opponent with double attacks. Yeah, which is why I didn't I didn't run it in the Dragonic deck because you were never going to be on dragons. Yeah, so that card is. But I was ironically, I have dragons <laughs> in this deck. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you don't have level eight dragons. Level uh, seven dragons. Yeah. Does it specifically say she's one monster yeah, at the yeah. same level? Oh, level and type. Jeez. Level and type. I guess it makes sense, right? Because uh, reducing sight by fifteen and being able to attack twice is such a strong effect. That I guess you can't just let that happen easily. Yeah. Um, we did get to see the Polygon Butterfly, which was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> In my mind, I'm like, the the main, like, powerful insect still is Lampras. Right? Like, I think both of your wins were primarily off the back of Lampras. So it's just, the ability to take your opponent's shit is just so good. And I think it's a little bit of a shame that they haven't got any new boss monsters because it's like we were saying, Digra is just attack points. And Dinosaurus seems like it should be strong. But again, it really struggles to deal with the high level monsters and it struggles to deal with low level monsters just to kind of get to your opponent's life points. So I'd really like to see just a new boss monster for this deck so it doesn't feel like it's just the steal your opponent's monsters the deck, you know? Yeah, we need a rush variant of like Insect Queen or something. Yeah, well, I don't, oh, I don't know about that, mate. Like, do, do you really want a, an insect, insect queen? queen? Like, maybe like a retrain, but I wouldn't yeah, want it. Yeah, like... retrain insect queen. Yeah, I could see that. That could be pretty cool. Or like, um, perfectly ultimate great moth, and like oh, getting yeah. a whole new like chain of like being able to summon it out would be really really cool. Yeah, because we have the petite moth, mm. right? Uh, yes, we do. We did. We definitely do. What was the other thing? I didn't get to show you the rest of my um, my extra deck. I mean, obviously, you already know um, Yami Tarasu, and we didn't summon that. But the other new boss monster I have is called Hagoromo, the Cloudal Handling Celestial Seamstress. And I had a chance to go into this once, and maybe it would have been better, but it, all it is is a 2,000 attack monster that lets me kind of do a fusion again. Which is is good, right? Because you you end up with an extra body on board, effectively. But yep. uh, a two thousand attack, twenty five hundred defense, level eight is the body, and like that's not a bad body, but it's not like an exceptional body either. It's just kind of yeah, that's there. But it can. That's the other problem with this card is it gets you back fusion or divine transformation, and gets you back a level four or lower warrior or fairy. So if you get back a warrior, there's almost nothing worth taking back with this card. For yep. this deck specifically, like if I was to bring back the Sayanin, it wouldn't be able to use its effects. It has to be the only monster on the field. Like if I was to bring back like Nandez, like what does that really accomplish, right? Which means the only thing I can really bring back in this deck specifically is the Seamstress, which is fine, but I'm not getting access to the other half of the fusion, right? So if I'm lacking the level eight, big boss monster i don't have a way to get that via this fusion monster which is a bit of a shame that was all things considered a pretty good game so gg buddy yeah ggs